What's going on YouTube? I'm back, your movie guru, with another review. Uh, this time it's going to be the naval action movie Hunter Killer, uh, starring Gerard Butler and Gary Oldman. Uh, now first off I'm going to say, uh, as someone who served <laughs> in the United States Navy, uh, of course there were a lot of moments uh, where I'm looking at the film and I'm rolling my eyes thinking, okay, that will never happen, or that's not what we actually do, or that's not what we actually say. Uh, but I'm gonna keep uh, blot all that away uh, and talk to you like uh, someone that's just an average moviegoer, uh, what they would think about the movie. So, first off, I'm gonna say it was fairly decent. Uh, it's not something, you know, that I'm walking out of the theater saying, I want my money back, or, you know, that was terrible, why did I waste my EV? But that said, not the best. Uh, it was a bit formulaic. Uh, it's not going to be something, you know, very new here that you haven't seen in other action movies or in, quite frankly, other movies involving submarines. Uh, U-571, Das Boot, you know, just to name a couple. Uh, even down Periscope had <laughs> some of the elements that you would see in this movie. Uh, so, talking about the plot first, uh, wasn't bad. I mean, it makes sense. Uh, even if you're looking at the trailer, you know that this was uh, America's reaction to a coup going on in Russia, and specifically the U.S. Navy's reaction. Uh, Fairly straightforward. They didn't try to get too much more complicated than that, so it wasn't really a lot of uh, depth in that respect. Uh, one of the things I will say, though, that was a little bit annoying to me, and uh, this is a mild spoiler, uh, but not not giving away too much. But you'll see even in the trailer uh, for the film, you'll see uh, Common, the character that Common plays, uh, remarks that it's a coup and you know that they're watching it on screen and in the film uh, to expound upon that they actually have footage of that uh, they kind of conveniently uh, forget that fact because the fact that they have footage of it happening on screen would actually de-escalate a lot of the tension that you see in the film so I think that's uh, pretty glaring plot hole and if you do see the movie I think you'll see what I'm talking about but that's all I'm going to reveal about that but other than that the plot was pretty straightforward so they weren't trying to get too deep with that anyway uh, the acting I thought was fairly you know moderate it's what you'd expect in these films uh, Ger Gerard Butler did a, a fine job you know it wasn't outstanding it wasn't you know piss poor uh, same with everyone else. Uh, I would say uh, it bothered me a little bit. I, I think they could have done a little bit better casting uh, with the Russian actors. Uh, I mean, obviously they made the choice where you know the Russians were going to speak English instead of speaking Russian with subtitles for the rest of us. But just some of the actors, it, it didn't even seem convincing that they were actually Russian or you know that they could really speak Russian so that was a little annoying as well I think the casting could have been better but other than that you know I, I know I've talked bad about the movie a lot you know, it makes it seem that you know I really hated it I, I didn't hate it uh, I like the action scenes you know I thought that they did a good job with those uh, like I said it's nothing new nothing you haven't seen before but I still think they did a good job uh, that said my overall rating for this movie is going to be a 6 out of 10. Uh, it's not a bad thing. Uh, like I said, if you see this movie, uh, I don't think that you'll regret it or wish you hadn't. Uh, it's just not something that I would be rushing to the theaters to see or specifically making time for, you know, if I had something else that I could do. So... I really don't have that much to say about this movie. Like I said, uh, I didn't expect a lot of this movie, and that's about, I got about what I expected. Uh, on Rotten Tomatoes right now, uh, it doesn't have an audience score because it's Thursday, uh, but the critics uh, gave it right now, it's at 30% uh, 
uh, 16 positive reviews, and I think it's 29 negative. So I think the audience, uh, average movie going audience, I think you guys are going to like it a little bit more than that. Like I say, is I don't think that anyone will hate the film. It's just not, you know, anything stand out. Just your standard action movie. So 6 out of 10, uh, I will give it a thumb, one thumbs up. Uh, probably, I'd say for most people, uh, this is something that you will be completely comfortable with just waiting till it comes out on DVD or Redbox or one of those films that you watch scrolling through Netflix, you know, when you're bored. But uh, if you do love movies as much as I do, or you're intent on going and see a movie this weekend, I don't think you'll hate it. But uh, that's all I have for this review. Uh, if you like what you see, once again, just hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Uh, I try to see at least one film a week. Uh, usually I see uh, not usually, but every now and then I will see maybe two or even three films a week, uh, depending on what's coming out. But hope you guys all have a great weekend. Uh, stay tuned for my next review. Uh, take care, guys.